Hey, it's Kevin Tofel with GigaOM. I'm just surfing the web here with my Android 4.0 smartphone, the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, I'm doing some quick benchmark testing, but I'm not using the stock browser. I'm also not using the Dolphin HD browser, which is one of my favorite third-party browsers. Instead, I'm actually using the Google Chrome for Android beta, which just hit. I downloaded it. I am already in love with this. I like the, uh, the user interface and some of the nice features that it has, and I really like the way it connects with Chrome on other devices. Let's take a closer look. Okay, during the intro I really wasn't browsing. I was actually doing the SunSpider JavaScript benchmark test for people who might be interested, and it returned a value of 1982 milliseconds. A lower score is better. That's about the lowest score I've seen on just about any other smartphone. Although I have seen faster results, or, or lower results I should say, using the stock browser on this Galaxy Nexus, so I'm not sure if it's because it's beta or not. I'm seeing some reports of people saying this is actually faster. Either way, it's pretty zippy, so let's actually take a look at the browser now though. Um, you've got your Omnibox or Omnibar here where you can search or just type in URLs. You've got a button to switch through different tabs, and then we've got our menu here, new tab, new incognito tab, which is nice. You want to surf privately, you can do that. Your bookmarks, which actually sync through Google Chrome uh, and your Google account. And you've got other devices. We'll talk about that in a minute. You can share, find the page, settings, and help. You'll see I'm signed into Chrome here. I've got Google as the search engine. Bandwidth management is nice. You can actually have the browser preload web pages uh, just on Wi-Fi or always or never. That's helpful if you're on 3G and you can autofill forms, save passwords, and so on, and then you've got your regular typical settings. So let's go back here, and I'll actually open up another tab here. I'll say new tab. I'll say giga all nerdy. Have that in my search history, obviously. Let's see, it's not opening up the mobile page because I had browsed the, to the desktop page earlier, but there you go, it has rendered the full page. Uh, well, I should I take that back. I don't know if the full page has rendered here. You can see it still kind of rendering there. But regardless, above the fold, I can certainly see what's going on there. Here you can see we've already got our new story up that Chrome has finally come to Android. Right off the bat, I like the larger text here. And I'll show you why, because it takes up the whole column here. Obviously, I can you know zoom in, pinch, and zoom, and double tap, and so on like I always could. But let me switch over to the stock browser and show you here is GigaOM on the stock browser and I've said since day one of Android 4.0 this is a problem. Do you see this blank space here? This text is not going all the way across the column. It's pre-zoomed for when I do the double tap. It's always been a problem. It's always irked me. It works fine in landscape for some reason but now I'm starting to realize why Google may not have decided to fix that. Uh, some people say it's not a problem. It's not broken. I tend to disagree. It's very broken in my opinion but Whatever. Um, there you go. It just zoomed it back in to where I don't want it. So um, so there you can see the difference. And, and this text is much smaller because it is pre-zoomed. Here, if I go back to Chrome Beta, obviously you can read that on this nice HD screen. So, all right, let's open up another tab. And here I'll show you what that other device is. Whoops, that other device was for. Here, I'm signed into Chrome on my MacBook Air, which is just off camera, and these are the actual tabs I have open in that browser. So I was looking for my benchmarks, uh, because I benchmarked this device before, and they're still on my Mac right now. I'm staring at it over there. I tap it here, and now the page I was browsing on my Mac is now being browsed right here on my smartphone, just like that, which is awesome. It's kind of like the Chrome to phone uh, extension where you could send websites and so on to a phone from a desktop. You don't have to send them now. If you're signed in in both instances on the desktop and on mobile, they're right there. It's just there for you. Uh, we can get rid of tabs nice and easy just by swiping them off like that. Nice little animation. And here's the neat thing. If I go to a tab, I can just go through, whoops, oh I can't, there we go. I can just go through my tabs by flicking through like that. Oh, it didn't work for that one. There we go. Maybe I have to go all the way across the screen. Ooh, it's not working for me. Is there a quick flip? I don't know. There it goes. It was quick. There it goes. Oh, I think I got the hang of it now. Pretty nifty. Let's go back to the tabs. I like how there's little animations where you can kind of bend them like cars, like three-dimensional objects as well. Anyway, enough playing with that. Um, that is the 
Chrome browser beta for Android, and I wanted to show it to you because so few people have Android 4.0 devices. This does work on Android 4.0 tablets, such as the Transformer Prime, and obviously it works on the Galaxy Nexus. But again, so few people have these devices. I wanted to show you what it looks like, and I am switching over to this from the stock browser right away because I just love the way it looks right now.